How's it going? This is Jeff with Four Leaf Labs. I'm going to talk through how to upload photos onto your menu. So whether it's your kiosk or your online ordering, you have really sharp photos. Forgive my super raspy voice. Um, I've definitely lost my voice this week uh, just from coughing and stuff. So um, hopefully you'll still understand me. Anyways, let's jump in. So these are pretty big photos. I think these are actually okay, but I will demo how to shrink down a photo just to make sure that you don't have like a, you know, 10 megabyte photo on each page that would make, you know, any website run slow, right? So first thing you can do is GIMP is a free uh, photo editing software. You can just click scale or, you know, press shift S. So this is like 3000 by 4000 full HD photo. We don't really need that for a kiosk. So I can do like 800 or like, you know, whoops like 800 and it'll scale down. That looks pretty good. Maybe I'll do a little bit bigger. I can do like 1000 there. That looks great, right? So if I scale that 1000 by 1333, it shrinks down. I can go to my canvas up here. Oops, I can slide this over. It's a little easier to see. I can go to my canvas and do the same proportions. So I can lock this and just say, shrink the canvas to 1000 and immediately it's the exact same size i can spit this out as a uh you know export as a pdf or whatever um we'll do like uh shrunk down um and then just export this and then poof we're done so now we have a small version of this picture to be extra careful and thoughtful um to make sure that the menus load absolutely as fast as heck um, I will also go to tinypng and I will drag the tinypng.com. It's an amazing website. It shrinks down your uh, images to fit. Here, I can let you see it, tinypng.com. It's amazing. And yeah, so it takes that image that and it shrinks it down even further. It's like 200 kilobytes. Now it's 100 kilobytes. So I download these two JPGs. I can upload them on the store and it will be super fast so i'll do like tinified and which which one was this this was the uh um i think that was the fruit bowl fruit bowl tinified and then i got the but this has nothing to do with four leaf this is just kind of like nice housekeeping for anything you put on your website in general um but um hopefully this is helpful i'll show the four leaf stuff in just, just a second so and this is a uh, nacho bowl, bowl, uh, tinified. So yeah, enough of like the general knowledge things to think about. Let's jump into actually putting this on your dashboard. So the menus, categories, items, modifier group, just think of it like a funnel going down, like menus, or if you have a catering menu, if you have a different menu for like the bar versus the thing, you can have that all here. Categories are the big types of items. And so we can see we already got pictures here. So if I say, hey, I want fries, like, you know, there already are some nice pictures that are ready to go. Uh, but each item and even each modifier, you can have a specific picture for. So for this one, I'm just going to search for the uh, nacho. Nacho cheese fries. I think this is the one we're looking for. <laughs> So right here is just the entry. There's nothing really added right now, which is totally fine. Like, you know, if you really get creative, you can say like the most delicious nachos in the world, completely vegan because this is a vegan store. But in this case, I'll just set the image. So I'm going to go to image um, and then it will pull up the file. So I have it in my downloads here. I have nacho tinified 170 kilobytes. So really tiny. And then one thing that is smart to do is to put an image description. This is great for any disabled people that maybe, uh, you know, can't are visually impaired and can't see it. But the other thing to think about is this is really good for SEO, for search engine. This is what the search engines look for. So always try to write in an item description. It sounds really random, but it's super helpful. Um, so we'll do like nacho cheese fries vegan uh you know uh cheese i think i spelled that right 
So I can also like adjust these. No, I'll just do that. Full screen looks nice. All right, perfect. So now that will upload in the menu. I have to click save down here. I think if I can move my screen. No, actually, I think it should auto. We updated some stuff recently, so forgive me if I <laughs> have to go back a little bit. But yeah, so once this is done, it's done. I can go back to items again, and this will zoom me back out to the top. I see my nacho cheese fries are updated. I can add whatever. But the next thing I'm going to add is my fruit bowl. So I just type in fruit bowl, and there's this kind of four max choices. And so it's just the same exact thing. I set the image. I pick the one that I uh, kind of shrunk down. This is only like 200 kilobytes, so nice and small. I'm gonna zoom this one in just a touch. Um, uh, rotation, no, no, no. <laughs> but uh, same deal, right? I'm gonna write that description. So like uh, a, you know, fruit bowl of bananas, um, you know, blueberries. And granola and so that is very very worth doing it helps your images rank on Google image search and stuff like that I would definitely um, you know can encourage adding those in but that's pretty much it your images are added what I can do uh, with the you know so that's it that's all it takes to add images what I want to tell you though is how to kind of add stuff going down so like items so this item will have different modifiers. And so like this granola one, you can add an image of granola here as well. And you essentially assign these modifier groups depending on what items you want them to be assigned to. So we have like bowl atoms, nacho cheese fries, and you can see, oh, hey, we have an option for tater tots here. And so I can create an image of tater tots and even the modifiers will have that tater tot image. And so if I go back to my nacho cheese fries on items, um, when a customer selects that, it can show that, hey, you have these different modifier groups. Oh, wait, there it is. You have these different modifier groups you can choose tater tots and like kind of customize it yourself sort how they look on the kiosk and all that stuff so this is kind of using what's extracted from clover but as time goes on you can customize it even further have you know your own kind of version of stuff in your you know kiosk and in your uh um online ordering store that you can customize have images and it just really really especially if you do upsells so let's say you say oh you bought a main item but i want you to try a dessert like have you you know why don't you get a dessert with this item having images for that stuff is critical and it can increase your average order size by quite a bit so worth thinking about worth doing um as always Feel free to email me, Jeffrey, J-E-F-F-R-E-Y, at fourleaflabs.com if you have questions. and um, Or just email us at support at fourleaflabs.com or call our number. Like Our team is awesome, so they can help out. But yeah, if you do have questions, uh, let us know. I know this is a little tricky depending on kind of how much tech experience you maybe have. So yeah, just let us know. We're here to help, and I hope this kind of gives you a sense of how to add images easy. Uh, and then as time goes on, um, you know, we can obviously add more tutorials and stuff like that as well. Have a great week. Take care.